extreme embalming started in Puerto Rico in 2014 and has made its way to the United States. It's an alternative from traditional funeral services and will definitely send your loved one off in style. It may not be for the faint of heart, but it does give family members a way to remember you as you were. These services allow you to pose your loved one in different ways, like sitting in a chair the way you used to, dress like the Green Lantern, your favorite superhero, or in a taxi that you drove for over 30 years. What about on your favorite motorcycle or in the ring one last time? surrounded by jazz instruments, or in front of a TV that's controller in hand with your favorite jersey on and your favorite snacks at your side, sitting in a Lamborghini, or even playing dominoes at your mother's bar. Miriam Burbank's starter wanted her mom to be celebrated, and that's exactly what they did. Let's take a look. In life, Miriam Burbank loved a cold beer and an occasional scotch. She gets down. 53, she's not a normal 53. So it's only fitting that all of it be captured as part of her home going. I didn't want her to just go, just go. So I had to do something amazing so she's never forgotten. Burbank's daughters had a vision and presented it to funeral directors at Charbonnet. They said that, you know, they didn't want a traditional religious type service. Um, that she was just one of those people that just enjoyed life, enjoyed living, just enjoyed people. Burbank is sitting at a table wearing saints colors. Her fingernails are even painted black and gold. She's got her bush beer and menthol cigarettes. The arrangement has been well received by friends and family. When I walked in, I feel like I was in the house and I don't hurt so much because it's more her. Uh, and it's like she not did, it's not like a funeral home. It's like oh, she just in the room with us. Charbonnet Funeral Home is leading the charge in non-traditional send-offs. Treme brass band drummer Lionel Batiste stood in the funeral chapel. Another funeral home placed socialite Mickey Easterling on a bench with a glass of champagne. You know, we celebrate life. We celebrate the passing. We celebrate the home going of people. Initially, there was some resistance in the Burbank camp. A lot of people didn't accept what I was doing, but I ain't let that stop me. And I know she's happy with how she's looking. Everybody else says, that's all, that's me. In the end, everyone is pleased. I think it's amazing for him to capture someone's actual life, their lifestyle, the way they live. It was a celebration of life, just the way Burbank would have wanted it. I think it's something new and trending, and I think it's a good way to cross over. Darian Trotter, WGNO News.